Christ the First Fruits, June 23. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. 1 Corinthians 15, 19 and 20. Christ arose from the dead as the first fruits of those that slept. He was the antitype of the wave sheaf, and his resurrection took place on the very day when the wave sheaf was to be presented before the Lord. For more than a thousand years, this symbolic ceremony had been performed. From the harvest fields, the first heads of ripened grain were gathered, and when the people went up to Jerusalem to the Passover, the sheaf of first fruits was waved as a thank offering before the Lord. Not until this was presented could the sickle be put to the grain and it be gathered into sheaves. The sheaf dedicated to God represented the harvest. So Christ the first fruits represented the great spiritual harvest to be gathered for the kingdom of God. His resurrection is the type and pledge of the resurrection of all the righteous dead. The resurrection of Jesus was a sample of the final resurrection of all who sleep in Him, the risen body of the Savior, His deportment, the accents of His speech were all familiar to His followers. In like manner will those who sleep in Jesus rise again. We shall know our friends, even as the disciples knew Jesus. Though they may have been deformed, diseased, or disfigured in this mortal life, yet in their resurrected and glorified body, their individual identity will be perfectly preserved, and we shall recognize in the face radiant with the light shining from the face of Jesus the lineaments of those we love. At His second coming, all the precious dead shall hear His voice and shall come forth to glorious immortal life. The same power that raised Christ from the dead will raise His church and glorify it with Him above all principalities, above all powers, above every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. He will receive us with honor. To us will be given a crown of glory that fadeth not away.